Hey, what's going on, fam? Listen, good morning. It is Monday morning. I got two things I want to talk about this morning before I get jumping on my day. Um, muscle, women and muscle, um, the importance of having lean muscle tissue, and then secondarily, uh, spot reduction, which is a huge selling point for a lot of uh, trainers. Unfortunately, they tell you lies with that, but I'm going to get into that shortly. So, who is this for? This is for any woman, uh, young or old, but especially women who are 40 plus, and especially if you're in menopause. If you don't get anything out of what I'm about to share with you, know that muscle is metabolism. What does that mean? The more muscle you have, the higher your metabolism at rest. Why I'm sitting here, my metabolism is off hook. Why? Because I have a great deal of scalded lean muscle tissue. Now, do you need to have muscle like me? No. I want to help you to build muscle, or I should say build lean muscle tissue that works for you so that you can have a healthy metabolism that cranks all day, every day. You have energy, you have mobility, and you have the tenacity even further to burn a lot of calories, not only when you're working out, but the after uh, the, the epoch I talked about in one of my last posts. So, how do, you know, what do you do to build muscle? I get into a lot of this stuff in my book, guys. I have a whole section on exercising for women. Most of you don't even need weight, but if you wanted to, to continue to develop lean muscle tissue beyond where, you know, once your body builds up to a level of, um, you know, it gets used to that, that level, then you have to add on more uh, weights to challenge your body. But here we go, here's the exercise. Squats, lunges, okay? Uh, you can do total body extensions. I did a video a while back showing you different exercises. And again, I get into details what that looks like. Calisthenics, you don't have to go bananas, but Stop doing all this crazy cardio day in, day out. A lot of women, what they, they begin to look flabby, and especially if you're in menopause, because ladies, it is still possible to lose weight in menopause. As a matter of fact, you, your chances are better than someone like me who is perimenopause. Why? Because my hormones are all over the map right now. It doesn't mean that it makes it impossible. I just have to go through the process of menopause and get to a point where I'm no longer dealing with my estrogen here and here. And then as your body begins to develop and stabilize, you work with more of a DHEA hormone that helps to uh, create the hormones you need to function. But my point is, if you're in menopause, listen, get out and do your walk and so forth, but find a gym uh, or you know, get dumbbells or something that helps you to build lean muscle tissue. It's so important because the older you get, your bones start to get brittle. It, listen, osteoporosis is really major for women beyond 40. You really need to start building that much, much earlier than your 40s. So, so much more I wanna say about that, but I wanna to hop to spot reduction real quickly. Listen, spot reduction does not work. If you're trying to only target your belly, your butt, listen, most of those areas, if anything, I'm gonna start with the flat belly because a lot of women think you do a, a bunch of crunches and you get a flat belly. That is not true. If anything, you're gonna get a bulging bulk belly uh, opposed to actually the fat belly that you're after. Muscles, or I should say doing ab work builds the muscle tissue, but in order to expose your abs so you can see them so that they're leaner looking, that's nutrition, that's diet, that's discipline. Do not, do not let anyone sell you that spot reduction works. And do not spend a waste of money on any training one that sells you that. It does not work. The hip bands, the weights, I can tell you, I can get into all that stuff. It doesn't work. What ultimately is a lifestyle of discipline and doing a few things that you may not want to do initially, but it produces results ultimately in the long term. And again, taking into account ladies who are, again, in menopause, your chances are a little better uh, in that you can get some results probably a little sooner. Uh, perimenopausal, again, we're, it's moving all over the place. You got to just find the balance. I'll share, I'll continue to share more on that. I'm, I'm actually a living testimony that right now. But for those of you who are seeking a flat belly, stop doing the thousand crunches and jacking your back up. They don't work. Listen, like, follow, share. Right now for Christmas, I am offering my book with more exercise details. I get into herbs, nutrition, uh, uh, different types of foods that you can eat for all sorts of fat loss and or maintenance, whether you're menopause, perimenopause, doesn't matter. Buy one, get one free. The book is $19.99, shipping and handling uh, included. And again, these are on sale at my website at www.coachpink.org. Listen, stay tuned for more. You guys have a blessed rest of the day and let's get after this. Boom. Peace out.